Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love, relationships and life. Now, mushrooms. Most people know about mushrooms. Uh, some people like them. Most are okay with them and some actually hate them. However, if asked, most people would only know the common ones like button mushrooms. Um, there are quite a few varieties of mushrooms widely, widely available and sold in Cabramatta. And the varieties are, of course, those used most often in Asian cooking. Here you've got a wide variety of mushrooms and probably a lot, uh, a lot of the varieties wouldn't you may or may not have seen before. And uh, especially in Asian cooking, especially in vegetarian cooking, mushrooms are a very important part of the cuisine. So we're going to start, all you can see here is all the mushroom varieties that are typically available in Cabramatta. So first off, we've got the pearl mushrooms. Now these are actually locally produced in Kent's Creek. So what they are is that they're a bit in between oyster, oyster mushrooms and shintake mushrooms, which I'm going to show you about. And right next here is the shintake mushrooms. And this is actually quite rare because, it, it, well, not a rare because it's a rare mushroom, is that these are now grown in Australia. You know, typically you've seen them when they're fresh shint shintake mushrooms. Um, they're usually produced in China. So these ones are now being produced in Australia. So you, need, you really need to check the label. And of course, the more popular you usually see them as dried uh, shintake mushrooms, especially in a uh, Chinese takeaway or Chinese restaurant. They're usually uh, rehydrated dried shintake mushrooms. So that's a shintake mushrooms. Now, right next, yeah, the pearl mushrooms. Now, these are the oyster mushrooms, and these are grown in Australia as well. The whole packet of oyster, oyster, oyster mushrooms. Now, these are actually softer than the pearl mushrooms, and they're typically used in a stir fry. So, you wouldn't want to be using them in soups or anything else because they are very soft and it just gets a bit soggy. Now, you might have seen these mushrooms in. MasterChef and other cooking shows, these are king mushrooms. The texture of them is actually quite firm. So these, are new, these ones are uh, typically grown in Korea. So very good in stir fries, chop them up, have a stir fry in them. And a lot, a lot of vegetarians can use this as a meat substitute if you want to put it in a sandwich or roll, have them cooked and serve up. Okay, then now you've got the uh, typical, I guess, button mushrooms that you always see. There's Australia as well. These ones are mini king oyster mushrooms, if you like the small one. I, find, I actually find these a little sweeter than the full-size king mushrooms. So, again, great in stir-fries, soups, and also noodle soups. Now, the last one, these are called in inoki mushrooms which you typically see, typically see in a lot of Korean cooking. It's always a lot in their hot pots and so forth. And um, you can stir fry them, but I guess it's mostly in soup because they are more stringy and tougher. So, and those are mushrooms in a nutshell in Cabramatta. So all these mushrooms you usually see in one greengrocer or, uh, or in another in Cabramatta. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts by leaving your comments below and if you've enjoyed it then don't forget to like share and subscribe to be alerted to when my next video is posted and while i do upload videos every wednesdays in the asia pacific and tuesdays everywhere else additional videos may be uploaded during the week so make sure you subscribe to be alerted to when those get posted so that's all for now so until next time bye for now